Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. In this week's exploration of the solar system, we are going to talk about the last three Apollo missions, Apollo 15 through 17, and what they were able to tell us about the moon. So let's look at these missions. First of all, these were what were called the Apollo J missions. And what that means is that they were extended much longer and there was a lot more science involved. So this is where the science came in from the Apollo missions. Apollo 11, 12, and then 14 were there to get us to the moon to show that it could be done and make sure everything was safe. The last three missions were the ones that actually told us about the moon. So Apollo 15, as we see labeled off here to the left, explored Hadley Rill. Now we can see the an example of the rill here. And that is kind of a possible volcanic feature that stretches across the surface of the moon. Apollo 15 is also very well known for the experiment done, which was the hammer and feather drop, which we see here. And we can watch that as the astronaut here is dropping a hammer and a feather at the same time on the surface of the moon. And we note that they hit the ground at the same instant. Now that's because Galileo taught us that all objects in a gravitational field fall at the same rate. Now it doesn't feel like they do that here on Earth, but that's because we have an atmosphere. So the feather is stopped by wind resistance and that will slow it down relative to the hammer. The second thing you want to notice here is that they fall slower than they would here on Earth. You kind of notice that the hammer does not drop the way a hammer would at from Earth. It would drop faster. And that is because of the lower gravity. There is less of an acceleration due to gravity, so things do not drop as fast. And we can actually see that they all land at the same rate. Now Apollo 16 was almost a year later in April of 1972 and its mission was to explore the lunar highlands. Earlier regions were in the Maria which were smoother areas and easier to find landing sites. Now that we had more experience we wanted to explore the highlands. So we looked at other areas and where there are far more craters and the regions were thought to be volcanic but were actually was disproved by samples that were brought back. So it was thought that these regions might be volcanic, but in reality, they were not. And then Apollo 17 launched in December of 1972. This was the final landing of the Apollo program in the Taurus Litro Valley. And this, these missions, these last few missions, also use the lunar rovers to explore greater distances. So they had a drivable little rover that would be able to explore larger distances on the moon than the astronauts could walk directly. So this allowed the astronauts of those final missions to explore larger areas to bring back more samples because they had better ways to be able to carry them in the initial initial missions. It was just exploring right around where the lander was uh, to a very small extent and could not go very far away. You still did not go hundreds of miles away, but you could travel several kilometers across the surface of the moon and see other areas. So they did really allow us to explore greater distances from the lander than were possible in previous missions, as well as bringing back more, sam more samples of material. So let's go ahead and finish up with our summary. And what we've looked at here is that the Apollo 15 through 17 were what we call the J missions of the Apollo program. Those were the science missions. So they were extended and they had more of a science focus. And they used the lunar rover to explore more of the lunar surface. And these rovers, of course, are still sitting there on the surface of the moon. They were not brought back. Only the astronauts and their samples were returned. The lunar rover still remain on the surface of the moon today. So that concludes this discussion of the Apollo 15 through 17 missions to the moon. We'll be back again next time for another exploration of the solar system. So until then, have a great day everyone. 
and I will see you in class.